Not five five. It's sticking. Uh, it's always a special moment when we get people to come into the studio. But to me, it's a very special day. We got Timberland in the hey. studio. Hey. How does it feel to have that power? Like, like to uh, you I know, mean, you I, started I, out be... like you know. I've seen all the behind the music of Timberland. Like, you started out living in the basement with Missy yeah. and all this stuff. How does it feel now to reach out to someone and they're like, "Holy sh! Timberland just reached out to me." Um, still feels weird. Yeah, because I'm. Still that country boy, right. you know what I'm saying? That just making music in you know upstairs in my room, to, you know, in my mom and dad's house. So it's, to me, it's just still feel like um, I don't know. Even my daughter, she like my kids. They'd be like, "Oh, which which are you, Tim? Or are you Timberland today?" <laughs> I'm like, so they kind of make me look at it as like a hero. Right. You know, so so I kind of now start to brace it a little bit more, but it still feels a little weird. Well, to me, I mean, in the realm of producers, I know you're going to be humble about this, but there's Dr. Dre and Timberland. That's it. That's it. That's what I grew up on, and in my head, that's it. And you know what? And your head is your head, and that's what you think. That's <laughs> well, what it is. <laughs> well, you got your younger generations like the Pharrells coming through and stuff, but that's because of you guys that those guys are even around. I ain't gonna say that. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's that. It's just like this. If you see a basketball player that's super great or some, there's somebody that's great at everything and you're great at it too, but you thought you was great, and then you're like, wait a minute, this dude right here is phenomenal. So all it really does in the world of producing, if you got, if you saying it's Dre and me, so why Pharrell and all, like if you say like we paved the way, I don't, the reason why I say they we didn't is because we was say if we was running already in place, we talk, had a conversation. They just come right up on the side of us and be like, <laughs> "We here," you know. What I'm saying so to be say we here, they had to create a diversion to be blended in. Right. So to me, I like I said on uh, before I said it was Dre me, well, uh, Dre me, Pharrell, Kanye, and Swiss. Like those to me are like you know that's your that's game your changer. that's your holy like, well, four. And, and, and the reason why I say that is not about actually making a beat it's about did you move culture did you change right. culture right you know it's different to make a beat like everybody can make a hot song but did you change the way people think dress how they bob how they bounce that's Put that's sound what, effects and exactly, beats that nobody ever heard exactly. before like babies or your, or your rhythm is different <laughs> like the real rhythm was an offbeat rhythm right and it made you step a different way and it was like oh snap man swiss was almost like like Bam, 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 right. bam, bam. It's like, you know, you could see it, and it's like, yo, and you'd be like, you really think that? And then, and then you look at it, like, that's dope. And you try to go do it, and it won't come out like that. Right. And you'll be like, well, he just said, bam, bam, bam. But why my bam, 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 don't sound? Because it's a gift. You don't have that soul in the wow. beat. Is that, there right. you go. Right. Well, it's good that you brought up Kanye too, because people don't really remember Kanye as a producer, but he was doing H to the Izzo and all that stuff. Yeah, but I just say Kanye because he produced himself. Right. You know how hard that is to really produce yourself. Usually, a lot of people have to have other you know producers to take them over the top. He took himself over the top, and took others over the top. You know, what I'm saying that's like he did it in a different way. <clears throat> He's he transcendent, that's for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, congratulations to all of you in this room in Timberland. Everything you've ever done, man, congratulations. Well, thank I God. appreciate that. Thank you yeah. for supporting everything i ever done. Hey, yeah, yeah and, uh, and before you leave, this is something I just wanted to say to you. Like, I, I'm glad that Aaliyah got to hook up with you and you got to put her on the level that you did because it, we, those are classics today because of you. You know, we were just, I was just in the, other, uh, in the other room. I was walking in this building. I said, man, Aaliyah presence is very heavy in here. Oh, that's cool. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was awesome like, I was saying like, and I forgot it was more like, I just hear her like, like speak to me, like saying like, I'm glad you're having fun again. You know what I'm saying? Cause she was always fun. Like she always called the radio station prank. Like I didn't know she called up homeboy <laughs> on the hot, Bush, request, yeah. yeah, on the request line. And I'm like, huh? That's a, that's baby girl. She would do that. She would do the craziest thing. She always made the music fun and what she was doing. And so I'm just doing the same thing, having fun again, keeping keeping the fun back into it. Just do you, man. It's worked this far and it's going to work again. So yeah. thank you so much.